Hi, welcome to Discovery Quests. I hope you all are doing great today. Top 10 Exquisite Creatures That Once Roamed the Earth Over 99% of All Species That Have Ever Existed Are Extinct Some Are Celebrated Like the Ferociously Famous Dinosaur Tyrannosaurus Rex Others Like an Ancient Set of Stacked Cones Called Cloudina Are More Obscure But As Life Has Continued Spinning Off More Endless Forms Most Beautiful And Most Wonderful Extinction has acted as the flip side to evolution as our planets. Biota continually reshapes itself. John Whitfield's lost animals, extinct, endangered, and rediscovered species from Smithsonian books is a tribute to the vast menagerie of long-gone creatures, from pancake-like organisms that seem to defy classification to the endangered Bermuda petrel, a bird that may soon join Whitfield's list. From this gorgeously illustrated compendium, here are 10 creatures to be found on its pages, many of which are unlike any species alive today. 10 One of the World's First Backbones Picaya Despite its unassuming appearance as a prehistoric squiggle, holds great significance in the study of vertebrate evolution. This small, tube-like creature, shorter than a human's pinky finger, possesses a defining feature an early version of the notochord, which would later evolve into the spinal column in vertebrates. This characteristic places Picaya among the most ancient ancestors of vertebrate life forms. Picaya was equipped with a fin on its back and exhibited the ability to swim by undulating its body, much like an eel, which granted it the capability to evade the more prevalent invertebrates found in the seas. Approximately 508 million years ago, these invertebrates were characterized by their grasping limbs and compound eyes, making Pikaia a streamlined swimming mechanism and adaptive. Advantage for survival and an essential piece of the puzzle in understanding the early stages of vertebrate evolution. Nine turtle from the dawn of time turtles, indeed, are an extraordinary group of reptiles with a rich and ancient history. The fact that the earliest turtle ancestors emerged approximately 260 million years ago speaks to their remarkable lineage and endurance. These early turtles paved the way for the diverse species of turtles we recognize today. One pivotal point in the evolutionary journey of turtles occurred around 210 million years ago with the appearance of Progonochlis. This species bore a striking resemblance to its modern counterparts as it exhibited a fully developed shell covering both its back and belly. Additionally, Progonochlis possessed a beak, a characteristic shared with many contemporary turtles. Despite these resemblances, Progonochlis also boasted some distinctive features not found among its present-day relatives. Notably, it possessed a spiked covered club tail, a feature that likely played a role in the defense of this relatively slow-moving creature. This particular adaptation provided an early glimpse into the diverse strategies employed by different turtle species throughout their evolutionary history, underscoring the flexibility and resilience of this ancient group of reptiles. Mysterious, carnivorous beast, mysterious carnivorous. Beasts have captivated human imagination for centuries. These enigmatic creatures often lurk in the shadows of folklore and legends, leaving behind tales of awe and terror. Their existence remains shrouded in mystery evading concrete evidence and scientific scrutiny. Among all the carnivorous mammals that have ever lived, Andrew Sarchis may have been the largest. The trouble is that this meat-eating beast is only known from a skull and a foot, Whitfield says, with no other fossils coming to light in nearly a century. Still, based on related animals, it seems that Andrew Sarchis was about the size of a rhino and took down prey with massive jaws acting more like an enormous wolf than a cat. Hopefully more fossils will fill in what we know of these 45 million year old enigmas. Seven toothy sea creature during the great age of reptiles, when dinosaurs ruled the land, there were also fantastic saurian in the seas. Among the largest was Liopaludon, a 23 foot long marine reptile that swam the Jurassic seas more than 145 million years ago. While many members of the plesiosaur family had small heads and long necks, Liopaludon belonged to a subgroup 
with big heads and short necks that allowed the carnivore to hunt large prey. Armed with four-inch teeth and capable of biting with incredible force, Whitfield writes, it would have been able to kill whatever it to goblin shark, scientifically referred to as Mitsukarino Ostoni, possesses a long and flattened snout with a distinctive, protruding jaw that extends forward when capturing prey. Its mouth contains numerous needle-like teeth, designed for grasping and impaling its prey. This unique shark species dwells in the dark depths of the ocean, making sightings a rarity dot wrapped between its jaws. 6. A clawed trunk for a nose The term a clawed trunk for a nose is a fascinating description that can be associated with a unique prehistoric animal known as Deinotherium. Deinotherium was a genus of ancient proboscideans, which are distant relatives of modern elephants. What set Deinotherium? A part and made it deserving of the description, a clawed trunk for a nose, was its peculiar and downward curved tusks. When Opabinia was first revealed to paleontologists at a scientific conference, Whitfield writes, the audience burst out laughing. What other reaction could there be to a tiny creature with a segmented body of plates, five eyes on mushroom-like stalks, and a proboscis ending in a kind of claw, this animal? an ancient and strange relative of today's arthropods, was certainly one of the odder inhabitants of the 508 million year old Burgess Shale. In fact, paleontologists still puzzle over how this animal lived, perhaps the position of the hose-like appendage beneath the body. Whitfield speculates, indicates that Opabinia just have eaten like an elephant snacking on peanuts, or five ferocious. Champa the ferocious Champa refers to an intriguing prehistoric creature from the Cambrian period known as Anomalocaris. This marine predator inhabited the seas around 500 million years ago and boasted a highly distinctive appearance and feeding strategy. Anomalocaris was a formidable carnivore with a segmented body that could grow up to three feet in length, making it one of the apex predators of its time. Imagine a great white shark with a staple remover for a mouth, and you have some idea of what Dunkelsteus looked like during its heyday. About 420 million years ago, this armored fish was among the biggest and fiercest meat eaters in the seas. Instead of chomping with teeth like sharks, this predator sliced through other armored fish with immense jaws made of sharpened bony plates. Based on calculations of the animal's bite, Whitfield notes, Dunkelsteus could have bit down on prey with a bite exerting over 1,100 pounds of force. 4. Humongous Dragonfly The humongous dragonfly alludes to a prehistoric insect known as Meganora. Meganora was part of the Meganoridae family of dragonfly-like insects that lived during the late Carboniferous period, approximately 300 million years ago. What set Meganora apart from modern dragonflies was its astonishing size. It had a wingspan of up to 2.5 feet, nearly 75 centimeters, making it one of the largest insects to ever exist on Earth. The name Meganora roughly translates to large nerved, referring to the intricate network of veins on its massive wings. These wings allowed Meganora to be an incredibly agile and efficient flyer. Despite its substantial size, much like modern dragonflies, Meganora was a carnivorous predator and likely fed on other insects and small prey. Getting buzzed by big dragonflies is a common summertime experience. Now imagine the same happening with a similar insect with a wingspan over two feet across. That's the size of Meganora. Whitfield points out, one of the largest members of a dragonfly-like family called griffinflies that thrived around 300 million years ago, increased oxygen, making up a greater percentage of the atmosphere than today, allowed insects to breath more efficiently and may have even altered air pressure to give flying arthropods like Meganora a bit more lift. With each flap of their wings, three confusing set of tusks, a confusing set of tusks is an intriguing reference to an ancient mammal-like reptile called Placerius. Placerias lived during the late Triassic period, approximately 210 million years ago, and belonged to a group of reptiles known as Decinodonts. Decinodonts were characterized by their unique tusks, 
which could take on different forms among various species. Today's elephants have tusks that jut straight out from their jaws, but not all their ancient relatives had the same arrangement. Around 20 million years ago, there lived a prehistoric pachyderm, Deinotherium with twin, curved tusks curving down from the jaw. Precisely what the elephant used these tusks for isn't clear. One early and fanciful idea is that Deinotherium used them to anchor itself to river banks while sleeping. Paleontologists may yet discover the real answer to hatched from huge eggs. The term hatched from huge eggs refers to a group of extinct reptiles known as sauropods. Sauropods were massive, long-necked, herbivorous dinosaurs that lived during the Mesozoic era, particularly during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. These incredible creatures are famous for their enormous size, distinctive long necks, and, as the phrase suggests, for laying remarkably large eggs. Not all giants and impressive creatures are from the ancient past. Some lived relatively recently, up until about 1,000 years ago. Whitfield notes, various species of elephant birds lived on Madagascar, on an island free from large carnivores. Some of these flightless birds got to be over 10 feet tall and weighed more than 140 pounds. Their eggs were huge, larger than that of even the biggest non-avian dinosaurs, and their absence can still be felt. Elephant birds were herbivores and helped keep the ecosystem vibrant by spreading seeds through their droppings. Their disappearance changed the nature of the place they lived, just as every vanished species has. One a four-foot wide frilly rug, the phrase a four-foot wide frilly rug, is a playful way to describe a specific fossilized organism known as a crinoid. Crinoids are marine animals related to sea stars, sea urchins, and other echinoderms. These fascinating creatures have a distinct appearance, resembling a frilly, flower-like or feathery structure attached to a stem. They are also commonly referred to as sea lilies, more than 560 million years ago. In the days of Dickinsonia, animal life was new and strange. In life, Whitfield writes, Dickinsonia resembles a frilly rug that could reach over four feet across. These creatures were also successful, given how often they're found among Australia's Ediacara Hills. But what were they? A few clues such as preserved remnants of biological compounds indicate that Dickinsonia was indeed an early animal, but scientists are still scratching their heads as to where this ridged pancake fits in the tree of life. That's it for today. We will meet with another interesting topic very soon.